In this video, we're going to find the inverse of the function g of x equals 2x minus 3 over 4x plus 2. The way we find an inverse function, one that undoes the other, is we switch the x and y's, because now the input is the output, and the output is the input. Everything works backwards. So first, we need a y, and we're going to get that by replacing the g of x with y. We have y equals 2x minus 3 over 4x plus 2. And then we switch the x and y's. Wherever we see a variable, we're going to switch it so that it becomes the other variable. This creates the inverse. So y becomes x equals 2, x becomes y minus 3 over 4, x becomes y plus 2. And now we have to solve this equation for y, because we're used to seeing functions as y equals or f of x equals. The problem is this one has a fraction in it. Well, we know how to clear fractions. We can multiply both sides by the LCD of y plus 2, 4y plus 2, sorry. When we do that, the 4y plus 2's will divide out on the right side. We can distribute x, so we have 4xy plus 2x equals 2y minus 3. However, in this function, we're solving for y. y is on both sides of the equation. We don't like that. We want y to be only on one side of the equation. So let's subtract 2y from both sides. Unfortunately, these aren't exactly like terms, so we can't combine them. We have 4xy minus 2y plus 2x equals negative 3. I'm going to buy myself some space here. Let's see if I can copy and paste that, and we'll take the pasted one up here to the top so we can still see our work. There we go. Right now, we've got y on the left, y on the left. Ooh, this 2x doesn't have any y's on it. Because it doesn't have any y's on it, let's get it out of the way. So we have the y's on one side and the numbers on the other. So we'll subtract 2x from both sides, giving us 4xy minus 2y equals, not like terms, don't combine them if they're not like terms, negative 2x minus 3. Okay, so we've cleared the fraction by multiplying by the LCD. We moved all the y's to one side and everything without a y to the other side. Now let's see if we can get these y's in only one place. Right now, they're in two places. However, they are in common on both of the terms. Because they're in common, they are a common factor. We can factor out the y, leaving behind the 4x minus 2, still equal to negative 2x minus 3. Since it's y times the parentheses, we can get rid of the parentheses by dividing by 4x minus 2 on both sides. And y is equal to, then, negative 2x minus 3 over 4x minus 2. Or using the inverse notation, g inverse of x is negative 2x minus 3 over 4x minus 2. And that becomes our inverse. We found that inverse by switching x and y, clearing the fraction with the LCD, and then we had to do a little bit of algebra. We moved all the y's to the left side, everything without a y over to the right side, and with all the y's on the left side, we could factor out that common factor of y and divide out the odd factor, leaving y, or our inverse, behind.